So this is a second example from section 3.7. So here it says, find the length and the width of a rectangle that has a given perimeter and a maximum area. Since they want maximum area, that's going to be my primary equation. However, I have two variables, not one variable. So I will need to use a secondary equation to make this only have one variable. And I can use my perimeter. It says my perimeter, which is 2L plus 2W, equals 200 meters. So I can use this part of the equation to solve for one of the variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for W. So I'm going to minus 2L on both sides. I get 2W equal to 200 minus 2L. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get W equals 100 minus L. And so then I'm going to plug this in. So L times 100 minus L. And I can distribute the L. And since I'm trying to maximize A, I am going to take the derivative of it. So the derivative of 100L is just 100. The derivative of L squared is 2L. If I set this equal to zero, I can minus 100 on both sides and divide by negative two on both sides and I get that L equals 50. That is a feasible answer for a length. It's not a negative and it's not zero. So this is a good answer for L. If I want to know W, I just have to do 100 minus that L, which means W is also 50. And since this was measured in meters, that means the length is 50 meters and the width is 50 meters as well. So you'll notice again, I end up with a square instead of a rectangle. Um, normally when you're maximizing um, area or minimizing perimeter, you always end up with the square. It's just a matter of finding the actual measurement for that length and that width.